Wisdom is the refining of innocence. So I learned from Talib al-Habib, not related to me once long ago, and I know his real name by the way, but let's respect his artistic sensibilities. I fired of Assassin's Creed Black Flag last night just for the interest of reliving a section of my childhood, if you will. And look, hashtag hold Ubisoft accountable for all their misdeeds. But I wasn't thinking of any of that when I fired it up last night. I just wanted to delve back into the Caribbean and this just got me thinking and how I am enjoying the story beat for beat now, perhaps because as an older person than when I first played it, Um, and someone who has more of an appreciation for story and also where the series has come after all this time, you begin to perhaps appreciate things you took for granted when you were younger. I mean, when you were young. When Black Flag first came out, I was in my final year of high school. I was doing what they call sixth form in the UK. We called it Standard 13 because we're so bougie like that in Palape. But yeah, I was... uh, That was about, yeah, 2013 is quite some time ago. It's like eight years ago almost, right? And um, compare that to where I am today, you know, someone who has, alhamdulillah, been inducted into, well, admitted to practice as an attorney in the courts of Botswana. Uh, So there's definitely a clear distinction to be found there, and there's definitely, you can say progression has happened And I'm at a different stage of life. So when I see Edward doing what he is, I can... Not that I like the things he does as a character. And that's kind of the point, because he was written in that manner. He was written in a way that evokes these sensibilities, that this is just a man who is very self-centered, who is very, in a way, greedy. He will do anything for personal gain. He, although he's got skills, he's got wit, he's got that charisma in him, he definitely has the potential to be something great, but he would rather use it to, you know, serve his own agenda, which at least, well, not a spoiler, but you know, at the beginning of the game, you know, it's a very shallow agenda, it doesn't um, extend to anything much beyond his own self and his own sense of glory, and even people whom he loves, such as uh, his wife, Caroline, um, as you progress through the story, you understand that even that begins to take a backseat and how this all impacts him and his psyche and everything around that. But without delving into an Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag um, story analysis, maybe I can do that in another podcast or, you know, just talk about it casually if I meet you on the street because um, for... Well, I shudder to say it now because of Ubisoft's mis- misdeeds and allegations regarding the sexual conduct, misconduct of the, well, people who were employed and, you know, stuff hasn't been, what you call, um, done to rectify those. So, hashtag hold Ubisoft accountable. So, I'm in a very difficult position on, in that regard. But I just thought to myself, and by the way, when I say that I wasn't thinking about this when I fired up Black Flag, I'm not saying that I disregard what the people at Ubisoft went through. I wouldn't want my own sister, mother, or wife to ever go through that BS. So it's not that I forgot about it. It's just that I got this game for free, by the way, legally for free, because, um, fun fact, I didn't actually buy it when it was, um, uh, what do you call first released i got it for free when origins was being released so there's that but what i meant to say about recapturing innocence particularly with the talib al-habib quote is that is it that when we grow up we sort of lose the ability to connect to the child inside us and that child inside us which never really grows up i suppose or just grows up in terms of physical attributes, so height, you know, hair, in my case, an awesome beard, praise be to God. But perhaps it is the consultation with that child, that child's psyche, the evoking of those emotions, of those passions, of those of those mental states, that is the true wisdom that we should aspire for. Because look at it this way. As a child, we've got these crazy dreams. And we have moonshots. 
we literally want to stretch our hands out and reach over the moon and we're not going to take no for an answer but as we grow up that kind of mellows and sobers out and i'm not saying that your adult brain is completely useless definitely there are times when you need to be a bit more level-headed and materialistic so to say as in grounded uh, so to speak when it comes to making decisions that being said I do think that many people, most people, struggle to find that child. And it's that childlike innocence that turns into wisdom. So I guess my message is this, that wherever that child is, I'm sure he is, or she is, or they are, within you, somewhere. And if you haven't spoken to them in a long time, children don't like to be neglected. You don't want some tantrums coming down your way at a most inopportune time. So nurture that child. Teach him. So if you wish to be a parent later on in life, teach him, her, them, so that you have a template of how to raise children. I mean, this is your self. In a, in, way, in a way, it's like this is your first child. It sounds weird, and it's a very interesting way of looking at it. But if you can't nurture the child inside of you, how will you nurture a child that comes from someone else? Or from your own self, but is a separate ent- ident- so what am I saying? A separate entity. At least this child is you. The other child, which will come later, we're talking about the physical entity, will grow up to have its own identity and forge its own way in life. So talk to that child, rekindle that lost flame, and find your innocence. Let that childlike state soar. Let that childlike innocence come to the forefront every now and again. I'm not saying you have to be always immature, far from it. True maturity is knowing when to put your foot down and when to let loose. With that, I gotta post all the musings on my social media from these past few days because I just got an opportune time with the internet. Assalamu alaikum.